In section 3.3, we're going to look at two things. The first is the definition of events being mutually exclusive. And the second is using the addition rule to find the probability of two or more events. So first, the, def the definition of events being mutually exclusive. Two events, A and B, that cannot occur at the same time are mutually exclusive. On the other hand, if A and B can occur at the same time, they are not mutually exclusive. So as you can see in this graph on the left side, A and B, they have, there's no intersection between A and B. They cannot occur at the same time. So these are mutually exclusive. On the other hand, on the right side, A and B can occur at the same time. So there's an intersection between them. So they are not mutually exclusive. Let's take a look at some concrete examples. So decide. Two events, event A is rolling a 3 on a die, and event B is rolling a 4 on the same die. The question is, are those mutually exclusive or not? So, they are indeed. If I roll a 3, that means I cannot roll a 4 at the same time, if I just have one die. Now, on the other hand, if I look at a nursing school that has a uh, co-ed makeup of their student population, two events. A is randomly sele selecting a male student, and event B is randomly selecting a nursing major. And my question is, can those happen at the same time? And the answer is yes, you can select a male nursing major, and because of that, these events are not mutually exclusive. Next, we're going to look at the addition rule. I want to know the probability of event A or event B happening. And there's two ways that happens. If the events are mutually, ex uh, if, if we don't know whether they're mutually exclusive or not, we add the probability of A to the probability of B and subtract the probability of both A and B. If we know they're mutually exclusive, it's just the probability of A plus the probability of B. So let's look at some concrete examples. And just a quick note, this can be extended to any number of events. So if you have three events, the same rule works. So I want to know the probability of selecting a four or an ace from a deck of cards. So they are mutually exclusive. I can't select a card, it'd be both a four and an ace. So the probability is going to be the probability of a 4, which is 4 out of 52, plus the probability of an ace, which is 4 out of 52. 8 out of 52 simplifies to 0.154. So it happens around 15.5% of the time. Now, in the second example, I'm going to roll a die. And I want to find the probability of rolling a number less than 3 or rolling, or rolling an an odd number. So these are not mutually exclusive. So odd numbers are 1, 3, and 5, and numbers less than 3 are 1 and 2. So the probability of the first event is 2 out of 6. The probability of the second event is 3 out of 6. And then I subtract the probability of both of them happening, which is 1 out of 6 and I get my final probability as 4 out of 6 or 0 0.667. Here's another example. The, pro the frequency distribution shows the volume of sales and the number of months and the number of months a sales representative reached each sales level. So if the sales pattern continues, so what's the probability that the sales representative will sell between 75,000 and 125,000 each month. So I'm going to look at the first event, which is monthly sales between 75,000 and, 9, and 99,999. And then I'm going to look at the second event, which is sales between 100,000 and 124,99. So together, they make up 7 plus 9, 16, and I find the total, which is 36. 
So the probability of that is 0 0.444. Finally, we're going to look at this blood bank catalog. And I want to find the probability that a person has either type O or type A blood. So they can't have both at the same time. So the probability of type O blood is 184 out of 409, and the probability of type A blood is 164 out of 409. So together they make up 348 out of 489, or, 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 or out of 409, which is roughly 0 0.851. Now let's look at our last example. The probability that the donor has either type B or is RH negative. So type B is 45 out of 409. RH negative is 65 out of 409, but then we have to subtract that common 8. So 45 plus 65 minus 8 is 102 out of 409, or roughly 0 0.249 is the probability.